today we are still in Vegas and we are here for the Super Bowl experience this is the uh, week of the Super Bowl today is Wednesday and there's a Super Bowl experience going on started today uh, runs through the weekend and so, hey we're here might as well go try it right never done anything like this before totally new to me but we're gonna go give it a whirl see what it's like show you guys around as well you ready let's go do this Do a field goal kick there. Crucial catch. This one is a uh, quarterback scramble, it says. a very very large space this is in the uh, Mandalay Bay uh, South Convention Hall is where we are at Look at these giant helmets looks like basically every team is represented here so tell me who you guys pulling for the Super Bowl I've got uh, a friend that is a Niners fan. Uh, I don't think I have any Chiefs fans, so I guess I guess I'm pulling for the Niners. I guess I really don't know, but that's what I'm going with. So this is the line to get into the NFL merch shop. So we're going to go inside and check out what they've got for merch. All the Super Bowl merch. I did see a really nice hat that I may pick up. I saw it in one of the resorts, but I wanted to uh, see what they had here first before I bought the one in the resort. So let's go check it out. Obviously a lot of this stuff is going to be 49ers and Kansas City merch, but I am specifically more interested in the actual Super Bowl merch. Ah, uh, here we go. Here's some hats. Kind of what I wanted to look at. Now the hat that I am specifically looking for has it's like the Las Vegas sign. Everybody knows the Vegas sign. I actually have it tattooed on me. But um, it's the Vegas sign, and it also has the Super Bowl colors in it, and it has the Super Bowl logo. So that's what I am specifically looking for. Oh, I think I found it. There it is. Now this is one that has the San Francisco logo on the side. I would prefer to have one that doesn't have a logo on it like that. So we may look around see what else we can find. But t-shirts, here are some ladies shirts. I believe this would be the Kansas City version. Yep, it is. That is the hat that I want, but I want it without the uh, branding on the side of it. So we're gonna see if we can find that one. This is a large merch shop, which I guess really shouldn't be a big surprise, but. more women's gear. Starter. Women's starter gear. I think I must be over in the women's section. 
I was unaware of that until I got over here. Definitely looks like I am in the women's section. I did see a mini helmet that I'd kind of like to have too. So looks like they got a bunch of those. Here are these mini helmets. Oh, Good looking mini helmet. Super Bowl logo on it. $50. I may pick up one of those before I leave. Still on the hunt for my hat. This is all youth clothing here. Youth hats, t-shirts. Some men's shirts. It looks like they also have some uh, collectible type things here as well. There's some art over there. Some autograph merch. There's a uh, Tom Brady signed mini helmet for $2,300. We're just gonna walk right on by that. Something else, these ridiculously large hats that a lot of people are wearing. Yo, does this look good on me? I don't really understand that, but hey, each their own. Here are some 47 branded hats. I really like 47 hats. So let's see what they have over here. Uh-oh, I see a hat I may even like better. Look at this ugly corduroy hat cap whatever you want to call it they have uh wow let's see how much is this 55.99 i do not like it that much good looking hat but i just don't like it that much See what else we've got over here. Pro standard. Super Bowl jackets, like Letterman style jackets. There's really so much merch in here, it's kind of hard to take it all in. So we're gonna keep digging, see what we can come up with. So I haven't found the hat that I want. I really want the one with the Vegas sign on it, but I don't want it. I don't want to brand it, you know what I mean? Like I don't want the, I don't want the uh, Kansas City logo on it or a San Francisco logo. So we're gonna see if we can find one that's unlogoed. Have our first uh, celebrity sighting, Aaron Andrews of uh, NFL, ESPN, Fox Sports. I'm not exactly sure who she works for now. But uh, she has her own clothing uh, line out, and she is actually here. She is standing right over there. That's Miss Erin Andrews. Wear by Erin Andrews. All right, so I ended up getting that helmet that I was looking for. I asked somebody, and they did not have that hat here where it's unbranded by the teams. I will say, though, that going through that, uh, their checkout process is a nightmare. So just keep that in mind if you're coming. Uh, it is a bit of a nightmare to go through that, so uh, hopefully they'll streamline it a little bit, but it is what it is. They also have some uh, daily auction stuff here. They have some stuff that they're going to auction off. A lot of mini helmets, a lot of autograph stuff. San Francisco stuff.
Here's uh, Taylor Swift's boyfriend's jersey. Here's an entire Anthony Munoz uh, collection of stuff. Pro Bowl jerseys, Bengals jerseys. So that's a Tampa Bay jersey, Tampa Bay helmet. All this stuff is up for auction as well. So you guys have ever watched the Combine on uh, like NFL Network? This is a Combine obstacle course. You can uh, run through the obstacle course. They have a lot of things like this here. There's a lot of different things that you can do uh, that the NFL players do. You know, there's a 40 yard dash right down here. I will not be participating in that, I can tell you. It's a four foot dash maybe, but no 40 yards. There's another one, vertical jump. And they have a bench press. A large crowd over here. I'm not exactly sure why, but we're going to walk over this way and see if we can figure out why. What the large crowd is for. Uh, it's CJ Stroud. CJ Stroud is over there signing autographs. Is that it is, okay. yep. They do have uh, several players meet and greet, signing autographs, things like that. I think there's about eight today. Uh, there's more as you get closer to the weekend. Uh, although Jerry Rice is here today, which is kind of cool. Uh, he's actually delivering the Lombardi Trophy. So we're going to see if we can catch that and uh, see what else we can find. So the USO is here doing care packages. walk through the line and get yourself a USO care package. Seems a little odd, but hey, to each their own. Probably not something I will stand in line for, but they're here, they're doing it. Good calls. So this is uh, an Invisalign booth. Looks like maybe it's for uh, photographs, pictures, things like that. Yeah, maybe I'll do this one. I need to do something, right? All right, so we did our uh, Invisalign photo booth and I'll drop that photo in right here so you can see my lovely mug holding the Invisalign helmet. It is loud in here. I don't know if you guys can pick that up, but it's very, very loud in here. Hope they don't get flagged for the music. But we'll see what happens. This is interesting. Get almost, almost anything Uber Eats. I don't know exactly what it is. Let's uh, walk this direction. It's like you, something, oh. It's, a, it's an Uber Eats store, I guess. Well, let's go in and check it out. Why not? We're here. We might as well. All right, so we're coming on in to the Uber Eats store. Hi, how are you? Good. Uh, sure, why not? Thank you so much. Okay. So the bottom one and the top two on that side. Okay. Thank you. So here we go. We're going to hit this button. And then we're going to come over here and we're going to hit this button. Oh, there's a, the door opened and there's stuff coming out. Thank you. That's interesting. We're going to hit this one. And there's, thank you. 
there's um, stuff coming out of the wall. Oh, this way. All right. I'm good. How are you? These are all Uber Eats things where we did a play on words for the Super Bowl. Okay. These are all events for that. Just to remind you and to let you know what Uber Eats, you can almost get anything on Uber Eats, whether it's groceries, food, fresh produce. Uh, restaurant meals, all of that on the Uber Eats app. Awesome. Okay. It can be delivered to your door. Uh, I love it. So if you head right over here, I'll here. Katie will help you from the rest. Okay, thank you. Hey, how are you? Wow. A nice freezer mask. All right, that's what I'm talking about. All right. A little post Super Bowl refreshment for you. Beautiful. Wow. Thank you. Ah. How are you? I am. I'm, I, it's it's fine. It's fine. Lovely. Yeah, everything's great. This was a bit of a surprise. I wasn't expecting this, so that's that's good. <laughs> almost almost anything. Beautiful. <laughs> Lovely. Can can you take my picture? I can take your picture. I would appreciate it. Okay. Let me hand you my my other this is, this is me like trying to pose for your vlog. Hey, I appreciate it. <laughs> She's posing, did y'all see that? Uber Eats. Alright, there's my camera. Okay. I'm gonna take I'm gonna put this down here, so hang okay, on. Okay, cool. How about we go either to the left or to the right? That way you can get like the most of the side. Okay. Alright, cool, ready? Awesome. Thank you so much. Of course. And then you, did you put in the order on the app? I did. All right, perfect. Just like right through here, and you'll be able to pick up your order. Awesome. Hi. Thank you. Hi. Hi. How are you? Play on words. The first time we charge in town. Touchdown moves. That's a wrap. Easy, easy play on words. Yeah. Royal Maine in Las Vegas. And then we have the 3D football ball. Okay, yeah, I see it now. Wow. Awesome. This is a very cool experience. That is a DJI. It's a uh, just a video camera, but built-in like, built gimbal. DJI? DJI. I? I'm going to look it up. Yep, DJI. It's a very good camera. And now I'm getting something else for free. This is a pretty cool little experience. Hi. How you doing? Good, how are you? Hey, I'm doing amazing, thank you. What's your first name? John. John? All right. Jonathan? No. Uh, it, well, it may be. Let me now crush the donuts. That's a pink box donuts. Awesome. For you. Let's see, you got the hot cheeto, you got the cheeto, you got the buffalo. Alright. Man, and then you also you get a three month free subscription for uh, Uber One. Okay. It's up to 10% off on of the price and more deliveries, $0 delivery. Uh, yeah. Okay. And you get top drivers. Awesome. All right. Perfect. There you go. Thank you so much. Great day. And out we go. Thank you for Thank you. Okay, so that was completely unexpected. Uh, the Uber Eats thing, if you're coming to this, make sure you do the Uber Eats. That's a pretty cool little experience. Reminds me of the other thing that they do here in Vegas, the uh, Area 15. So I actually did a video on it last year. But yeah, that, that was pretty cool. All right, moving on. We're now over at the uh, Snickers booth. This is the Snickers Total Access booth. So we're going to go, uh, not a big line for this, so we'll go check it out. So this is uh, an interesting experience here. The Snickers NFL Total Access. There is a, a TV. You can see the TV right there. You have a live play on that TV, and you get to call it from the booth over there. So, and then they send you the video. So uh, if I get that video, I will include it in this. 
Welcome to the NFL Total Access Desk, presented by Snickers. We're just days away from Super Bowl 58 in Las Vegas. There is a lot of excitement in Las Vegas right now. These two teams have earned their chance to compete for the Lombardi Trophy and become Super Bowl 58 champs. Now, wouldn't that be satisfying? That would be satisfying, indeed. Speaking of satisfying, let's take a look back at one of the NFL's most satisfying finishes of all time. I think that is a great idea. Let's send it over live to the Super Bowl experience presented by Toyota in Las Vegas, Nevada to hear the call. All right, here we go. Quarterback drops back, looks over side. Oh, he's caught it. There's a flag on the play. Oh, he breaks loose. 30, 20, 10. He finds the end zone. Touchdown, Buffalo. Okay, nothing more satisfying Ooh. than a great finish to a close game. Well, you know? almost nothing, if I do say so myself. I'm a little hungry right now. Are you Are you going to take a bite live here? Okay, well, for now, it's a wrap here for us on the NFL Network. You could have offered me a bite. Whatever. Thanks for stopping by the NFL Total Access Desk, presented by Snickers. I think I should have a bite, Yum. too. So they have a uh, mock NFL draft stage here. They actually call your name. They give you a jersey. You get to pose like you have been drafted into the NFL. So, yeah, that's a pretty cool little experience. I'll probably skip that one. But very, very, very cool experience. We have now found that looks like what would be a kid's zone. It's the Nickelodeon zone. Inflatables. It's a bunch of SpongeBob inflatables. We'll walk around that way and uh, see what it looks like. So there it is. It's a Nickelodeon SpongeBob zone. Large blimp up there. There's a Krabby Patty back there. SpongeBob right up front here. There's Plankton. Gary. Yeah, I watch a lot of SpongeBob. The Rich Eisen Show is being filmed live. It's not right now at the moment, but they do film it live here at the NFL Fan Experience. I don't know what time they uh, do this, but if you're here and you want to come check that out, looks like this is a good place to do it. Always liked Rich Eisen. He's one of the better guys when he was on ESPN. So here's another one of the challenge areas. This is the ground challenge. And then over here is another one. This is the air challenge, it says. So this line that you're looking at here is for the, uh, take your picture with the Vince Lombardi trophy. There's a large version of it. And I'll be honest with you, I had my picture taken with the Stanley Cup. The Lombardi trophy is a cool trophy and all, but it's not the Stanley Cup. So probably not going to stand in that long line to get a picture taken with the trophy, but they do have it here. It is an experience you can do as well. And once you're in here, all the experiences are free. There, You don't have to really pay for anything else other than merch or things like that, some foods. But all the experiences are part of the, your admission cost. Uh, today was $25, and then the rest of the week is $50, I believe. Moving on, moving on. We're now over at a Lowe's area. Not exactly sure what you do here at the Lowe's area. I see people standing in line. I'm not sure what they're standing in line for. I'm sure it's something cool. Looks like maybe you have to kick or throw or something. So you have to throw, and you throw it through the uh, O of home. I guess you win some sort of prize. Again, another long line. 
So there is a Madden 24 bus back that way. They have a lot of uh, Madden screens set up. You can come play Madden. They also have this uh, Get Moving Play 60, which is a uh, kids initiative to get kids moving. You can see all the kids here playing. Except maybe there's some adults in there playing as well. This is a large facility. Way bigger than I had anticipated it being, to be honest with you. They do have a uh, half football field here set up. Full with go posts. And there's also some stands over there you can sit in. Now I see the guy, I don't know his name, but there's a player for the Raiders. Uh, he is out here talking to a bunch of kids. And I know him because of his red beard and his tattoos. He is tattooed basically from the neck all the way down. I remember seeing him in the games this year. Again, I don't know his name, but uh, he's out there in the middle of all that. Looks like he's teaching some kids some, uh, maybe some stances. I can't really tell if he's, uh, what they're doing out there, but they're, they're do definitely doing something. So we got a guy lining up as a lineman. Either way, pretty cool. Oddly enough, I was talking about the guy and uh, there he is. It's that gentleman. I do not know that gentleman's name, but that's him. That's the guy that's out on the field right now uh, talking to the kids. We are now over in a locker room area. Looks like they've got uh, several different lockers set up. See Josh Allen, Tariq Hill, Garrett Wilson, Jamar Chase, TJ Watt, CJ Stroud over there, Derek Henry from the Tennessee Titans. Say Dak Prescott, George Kittle, DK Metcalf. I like DK Metcalf. Aiden Hutchinson. I like Aiden as well. I was pulling for the Lions this year. That's who I was pulling for to win the Super Bowl, but they didn't get there. Came up a game short of getting there, but maybe next year. Activation. Some nice Toyota vehicles in there. Let's go up here and see what exactly this is. Looks like they're digging for something. Kind of another cool thing they have is they have uh, a player dressed like this for every NFL team here and you can actually walk behind it it's got a place where you can kind of get in it and put your head up there but they have one for every NFL team here there's uh, the Carolina Panthers right there when we lived in Charlotte we went to a uh, Panthers game actually watched them play the Saints in Drew Brees' last game there's the Eagles, Commanders. I see the Vikings over there. Now, there's a whole lot of people right here in this area. I see a lot of cameras in the air. Very crowded. Maybe this is where Jerry Ross is. Lost 
Vegas for its very first Super Bowl. They also have a uh, Pro Football Hall of Fame installation here as well. Uh, they've got some of the busts here. They've got some of the uh, game used artifacts. Artifacts? Memorabilia? I don't know what the word is. But they've got some of it here. There is a uh, Bo Jackson jersey. I think Bo may have been the best athlete I've ever seen play. His uh, career was cut way short due to injuries, but just a heck of an athlete. Moving on around, it's Barry Sanders jersey, Marshall Falk. It's the uh, Marshall Falk from the uh, greatest show on turf. Back when Kurt Warner was quarterback. I was a big Kurt Warner fan. I really like Kurt Warner. There's a uh, Pro Football Hall of Fame jacket. And Hall of Fame rings. As you see, there's another line, and that line is to take pictures in front of the giant Las Vegas Super Bowl logo there. All right, guys, that is it from the NFL fan experience. Now, I will honestly tell you I am not a huge NFL fan I don't follow a certain team I do have certain players that I like but I don't really follow a certain team um, the 25 bucks to get into this today I think it's well worth that um, if you are not a fan of crowds if you have uh, anxiety or anything like that getting in crowds this may not be the thing for you uh, it is very very crowded in there and uh, there's a lot going on. It's it's a little overwhelming, to be honest. So uh, just keep that in mind. But I'd say overall, it was a you know, it was a good experience. I'm glad that I got to do it. Uh, you know, I don't know when else I'll ever be in a town where the Super Bowl is, the week of the Super Bowl. So I'm glad that I did it. But yeah, it's a little overwhelming experience. Uh, I would say you know zero to ten. I'm going to give it a, a six point seven five, maybe a seven. But yeah, that's, I think that's fair. Anyway, that's uh, that's where I am at with the uh, NFL fan experience here at Mandalay Bay in Las Vegas for the Super Bowl. Again, glad I did it. Very cool to see. Uh, got to see some things that I probably never would get to see. But you know, that's just my opinion of it. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. And remember, life's tough. Keep it amusing. We'll see you guys next time.